So number three from paper one of the new hire, you have to show that this is a factor of this cubic expression and then hence factorise it fully. Well, you'll be using the synthetic division. What are the coefficients? 1, negative 3, negative 10, 24. None of them are missing. And you'll be putting negative 3, which would be a root into it. Feed it through. 1, multiply it up, add it down. Multiply it up, there'll be a positive, add it down. Multiply it up, and that comes to 0. Then you put your statement. The remainder is 0, which means that x plus 3 is a factor. Factorise it fully. Well, x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 24 would be x plus 3 times this part. x squared minus 6x plus 8. And hopefully, since it's paper 1, it's going to factorise again. x times x, factors of 8 that add to give 6, that's 2 and 4. Make the big one negative, that says they're both the same, so they're both negative. There we go. Four marks. Number four from paper one of the 2015 new hire. There's a snapshot of a trig function, just showing the part from zero to pi upon two. It says it's the graph of this thing, p cos qx plus r, and just says, write down the values of P, Q and R. So that'll be for a mark each. Well, P would be the amplitude, which isn't 4. The difference between the top and the bottom is 6. So P is going to be a half of that difference. A half of 4, take away the negative 2. A half of 6, so P is going to be 3. Q, that would be the frequency. How many times does the complete graph appear by, well, 360, 2 pi? Well, you could show that working. The complete picture would be 2 pi. This finishes by pi up in 2. Dividing that out gives you a 4. There would be 4 complete pictures. And R says, has it been shifted up? Well, it's at 4, but the amplitude's only 3, so that means it's gone up 1. So there we are. P is 3, Q is 4, R is 1.